And new at 6.30, Valmira Glass USA recently terminated more than 300 employees, and now they are filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Court documents also show the company owes money and not just to the city of Dublin. Morning reporter Wanye Reese had a chance to sit down with a bankruptcy attorney and learn more about what this means for the company and the city moving forward. The city of Dublin and the Dublin Lawrence County Development Authority, Valmira Glass USA owes money to them and many others. A corporation would usually file a Chapter 11 either to reorganize, uh, to try to get its debts to be uh, more manageable payment schedule. One of the biggest debts is from the Dublin Lawrence County Development Authority, coming in at more than $1.2 million. For a company, a lot of times your balance sheet isn't working for some reason. You just can't bring in the income that you expected. Court documents show Valmira owes the city of Dublin more than $200,000 for utilities. Money Wilder says it's going to take some time to get. Bottom line, it's probably going to be many years that this case will be pending. Valmira also owes BH Transfer of Sandersville and Active Minerals International of Milledgeville, who are owed more than $100,000 apiece. Bankruptcy generally, all the chapters will stop creditors from taking collection actions against you while it's pending. Wilder says most companies come into bankruptcy with a plan, but that could fall apart. Eventually, Chapter 11 goes to a plan confirmation hearing where they say, this is how we're going to make it work. And after voting in that plan is, uh, it either succeeds or fails. If it fails, generally the company would convert to a Chapter 7 and essentially be liquidated or the case dismissed. Well, we did reach out to the Development Authority and Dublin City Attorney who are not commenting on the case. Court documents show there will be a meeting of creditors July 26th in Atlanta. And remember, the Dublin Lawrence Chamber of Commerce is organizing a job fair just for those Valmira Glass employees. The plant unexpectedly closed a building on June 17th. Now, this job fair is not open to the rest of the public, but Valmira workers can go to the Porter Center at Oconee Falline Technical College July 3rd.